Guys, how are we doing? Welcome to our brand new video. Now, just give me four minutes of your time. I'm going to really explain to you in detail how you can have a more effective home workout. So why training intensity makes you leaner? What I mean by training intensity is there's so many other things to consider rather than just getting tired. Now, at THQ, we've always stood by the motto that anybody can make anybody tired, but it takes patience and a certain type of plan to make somebody better. With any of our workouts that we do, even though we've been restricted of how we can actually train people with the current situation, we always take into consideration these vital points. Now, when facts that you need to consider when you're looking at your workout is that reps aren't just reps. You've got to look at reps, you've got to look at tempo, you've got to look at maybe changing the where you do the reps and making partial reps. You've got to look at high reps versus low reps and how we can actually make that just as effective in even bodyweight workouts. Effort, effort isn't just as balls to all, smashing yourself as much as you can. It's not just about that. It's about understanding when to go to failure, when to not, when to leave a few tips and um, a few reps in the tank. And most people, train hard when they come to us, like a lot of people do, to be fair, or they've had experience of, of pushing themselves in different different types of workouts before, but they've, we've, they've never really considered all these different variables that how they can impact, um, impact the results. And then once we actually take people through these principles and help them understand them, but also do them religiously every time they take, take a workout into consideration, then this is how they get, end up getting the results that they've never had before. This is how they actually get the body shape that they never had before and the wow effect that really helps us build THQ as, as a brand. So home workouts, they are going to differ between body weight and sort of only having limited kit available. This is not going to be just like a gym workout, right? So we have to, how can we make high reps or low reps? So if you was in the gym, you could obviously go higher weight um, and you can do low repetitions. Um, and you can just go a little bit light, go a light weight and go high repetitions. And, and, a, and there's a basic overview of it, right? But obviously, if you've got limited kit available body weight, you can't really do that. So you can manipulate things like your rep ranges. When you're doing higher rep ranges, um, you can still do them, um, but you can do them in smaller muscle groups. So for example, if you were using a bench dip, you then, then a way to chuck in um, some higher rep ranges, you can do that when you're training a smaller muscle because we can take it to a lot more fatigue without impairing recovery the next day or the day after. So like, for example, if we was gonna use the tempo scenario, so tempo is the way we're actually going to be lifting the weight. So like how many seconds down, how many seconds up. So not necessarily lifting the weight, but the movement, um, you could actually do more lower reps on that, but we can just change the tempo. So for example, if we do a squat, rather than doing 50, 60, 70 squats, which is, the benefit there and the recovery aspect of it is not really going to be that beneficial, but you could do, say, 10 reps, but you can take four seconds to get down and then two seconds to get up, just really manipulate that tempo. So we can still train the muscle in that way, but we're not doing unnecessary things that's going to impair recovery. Um, effort. Now, what I think with, with effort levels, I think we should always look at a program and maybe look at sort of sometimes prioritizing our weaker areas and putting more effort into them and then body parts that we find easy to train then um, we could obviously look at sort of maybe bringing the intensity down a little bit and depending on different scenarios but so for example for a body weight workout what I would prefer people to do is as you go through the workout leave a few reps in the tank during the workout obviously it, it, you can you, know, you still need to be fatigued still needs to be worthwhile um, but then the last last few sets go to absolute failure push yourself so you really couldn't do any more um, and then that will be a great way to balance around. Now, how would you bring that into some workouts? Now, first I would like to point out is that I do think that we should take this time when we haven't got as much temptation to do more advanced kit or more advanced weight, that we should work on different areas, um, on a weaker area. So for example, females, especially females that are with us, if, you, if you're very good at leg workouts and you've already got very, very well developed legs, why don't you do work on some more upper body work and do work on your upper body strength because you're going to find them exercises that are necessarily easier home workout. You're using your
your weaker areas, say for example, females generally uh, have stronger lower bodies, more weaker upper bodies. Now, if you really take this time now to work on different press up variations and pull, pull up variations or any any sort of variation that's going to happen with uh, help with your upper body training, then you're going to get more out of them whole body weight workouts. So it'll be a good time to do that. Lads, if you renowned for missing leg day, you don't really put as much effort in and push yourself on legs as what she should. Um, but should then look at really manipulating that tempo for your legs and really making sure do extra own workouts and adding, adding that um, low, uh, that that volume in a, in a different way throughout the week and just think right I'm going to train my legs today I'm going to train my upper body today it's a really good mindset to have in this particular time and for a full body for example you could do you could do an upper to a lower body exercise so if you've got a full body program. You could do, for example, you could do an upper body. So you could do a tricep dip where you're doing high repetitions. Then you can go straight flip to a lower body where you're then using tempo. So you're slowing the reps down. You're going up. So this, this, you know, you don't have to do this to the exact letter, but this is just some of the insights of how we write our writing sort of programs of limited kit and body weight. Trying to be as creative as we can with this situation that we have. Um, a lower body, you could do a push and a pull. So you could do um, a low rep squat straight into maybe like a pushing exercise on, I could say, a falling hamstring. You might have to Google some of these exercises. Um, it's not, they're not actually that common when you're trying to train certain body, body parts with um, body weight. So for example, um, we could do a push, we could do a squat, low reps, then going into um, a falling hamstring curl, we can do some tempo work on that. So a falling hamstring curl, you would put your back in the wall and then you'd lower yourself down to the floor, hold yourself, but you'd, put the tempo into your legs, stopping yourself from falling. That would train your hamstrings. You were training the quads and then the hamstrings, so front of the leg, behind the leg. So we're doing that in a scenario where you're obviously using tempo and then different types of tempo as well. So there's so many things to consider, guys, when you are doing these home weight, um, home workouts. So it's like, they can be effective, but there's the height. You, you just don't have to just smash yourself into the absolute ground without having to think about it. Now, this might all seem completely foreign, and I get that. If it is, you've got no idea what I'm talking about. We have put together a free home workout. It's not part of this video, so it's not something that you know I'm, I'm trying to push on to you to do it. But if this means absolutely nothing, then just message the page and we'll send you the home workout. It's all there. Um, it's a full 40-minute video for you to be able to understand um, a variation of these principles and then put them in. And it's all about learning and, and educating yourself to really be more sensible about your training so you can get better results. But guys, hope this helps. Any questions whatsoever, just comment below and I'll be happy to help. Take care.